by in the flowered material. And that was at exactly, uh, exactly at 2, uh, 95. <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't mean the price. I meant, do you remember the time? <laughs> Young man. <laughs> Young man. Yes, ma'am. Would you by any chance recall the exact time I was in here the other day? <laughs> it's very important. Were you in here? <laughs> I was with her. Oh, yeah. I had a chocolate sundae. With two cherries. I put the extra one in myself. I had a cup of coffee. You did? With two lumps of sugar. I put the extra one in myself. <laughs> oh, Bobby Joe, come on. Ah, uh, yes, yes, here it is. Your operator was Claudette. That's right. And she'll remember me, because I was very pleased with her. Yes, I know. And now we can't find her. You can't find her? You praised her so much, she demanded more money. We couldn't pay it, so she quit. <laughs> you mean she hasn't got a single witness? Nary a one. Sam, she's going into that courtroom tomorrow completely defenseless. I feel awful about it. Not too awful to feed your face. <laughs> I've got to think. Yeah, yeah. Boy, this really gets to me. If I hadn't come out with all those headlines, Kate probably could have eased out of this thing gracefully. Doggone me anyway. Oh, now, Sam, don't make it hard for yourself. On the other hand, maybe you ought. You're the guy that landed over the whole valley. Well, you sure are a comfort when a guy's in trouble. Can't you think without eating? I can't do anything without eating. Will you stop complaining? We've got to figure out what to do about Kate. Well, I think the best thing she could do would be to throw herself on the mercy of the court. Admit she was wrong and take the consequences. Sam, you know Kate better than that. She ain't never going to admit she was wrong if she thinks she's right. No, but suppose she wasn't right. What did you say? <laughs> Only that what if Kate was wrong about the time and the officer was right? Now, that's barely possible, you know. I'm paying you off for them cookies right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joel. Now, now, I'm not doubting Kate's honesty. I'm just saying maybe she got confused. Well, that's better. I'll forgive you. <laughs> That signal was working after 2 o'clock. That signal was working after 2 o'clock. But she hasn't got a witness. I know. Hey, wait a minute. If that signal was in operation after 2 o'clock one day, it ought to be the next. And if I can prove it, I can save the day for Kate. And that's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's so long, Perry. <laughs> Oh, boy, with him on her side, I hope she don't get the chair. <laughs> hey, we're all behind you, so don't worry. Hear ye, hear ye, this court is now in session. You will please rise. You may be seated. The People versus Kate Bradley. Here, Your Honor. But, but I'm not against the people. It's just that dumb signal. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Bradley, am I to assume that you are acting as your own counsel? That's right. Approach the bench, please. You are charged with violation of Section 10, Paragraph B of the Pixley Municipal Code. How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Your Honor, um, guilty or not guilty sounds so serious for such a little thing. 
Can't I just say I didn't do it? <laughs> I'm afraid we're going to have to run things around here in our own way. The court assumes that you plead not guilty. Yes, sir. Very well, you may be seated. Does the prosecution wish to make an opening statement? Uh, no statement, except, of course, that the defendant is guilty. Well, that's some no statement. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Bradley, confine yourself to conducting your case. Do you wish to make an opening statement? Yes, I do. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Uh, Mrs. Bradley. Yes? This is a trial by court. There is no jury. <laughs> then who decides whether I'm guilty or not guilty? I do. <laughs> I believe you were about to make an opening statement. Uh, I only want to say that I can prove without a shadow of a doubt my complete innocence of this alleged violation. And I am confident that the court will be kind, just, humane, <laughs> considerate, impartial, honest, uh, Mrs. Bradley, you may be confident that this court will base its decision strictly on the evidence. Of course. seated. Prosecution may call the first witness. Deputy John Edward. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. You may be seated. <laughs> Deputy Edwards, you observed the defendant in the act of making an illegal crossing at the time and date in question. Is that correct? It is. In other words, your citation to the defendant stands as written. You make no retraction. <laughs> Well? None, sir. <laughs> that is all. Do you have a witness? Deputy Edwards, how many people would you estimate crossed at that signal in, say, a five-minute period at the time of my alleged violation? A dozen or so. Uh-huh. And how come with all those people you picked me to give a ticket? Me, and me alone. Because you were the only one crossing against the signal. <laughs> I don't want to talk to this witness anymore. The witness may step down. 